Okay, here's my voice. Let's hope the controller works this time. Sometimes this game really just doesn't like... Seeing my controller, which I fear might be the problem here. It is absolutely the case right now. So let's see what I can do to fix it. Hold up. I do not know what the issue is, but... It doesn't do this with any of my other games though, so I, it's not the controller. I have no idea what it is. I wonder if maybe I leave it on the hard drive loader a bit too long or something? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just jam buttons and see if this works. I wonder if there's a new version of OBS out. In cooperation with Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Okay. So the thing that worked last time, I think... was unplugging and replugging the controller. So let's remember that for next time. Uh, let's bring chat up. Okay. I don't know why that works, but it does. Let's do a couple missions here. See what's up now. We fought, we blew up the airport or something last time. I will now brief the details of your mission orders. That's all I have to say to you right now, people. If you all really are innocent, then I suggest you prove it out there on the battle. Okay. We have discovered the position of a secret facility in Yuktabani used to store ammunition. According to our information, the base is located deep in the jungles north of Lake Dama. The facility is massive and contains enough ammunition to supply a Yuktabanian ground division for a week of combat operations. That sounds like a lot. Destroy this stockpile and cut off their frontline ammunition supply. Note that we've been getting a lot of attacks from soldiers hiding in the dense jungles with shoulder-mounted sands. They are very hard to detect from the air. So stay heads up for sudden attacks from these missiles when flying at low altitude. Okay. Looks like mostly ground targets. Did I get any new airplanes? Cause I won't need the SAM. Um. Yeah, I won't need that, so. Do I have one of these? I have one of these. So I think let's take this. So maybe get another one of these. Just so I can have two. Okay. I would like the F-18.
You can also have an F-18. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? You can have a napalm plane and you can have one of these, whatever. Oh, I guess I'm streaming this a little bit early. Oh well. Boy, it just puts you right into this, huh? This is Thunderhead. Cut the chatter. Oh, I just wish I could fly somewhere where I didn't have to listen to that voice. I know the feel. You'll be arriving into a target area shortly. Well, I don't want to listen to that interrogation committee at the Capitol either. The actual armory is located in an underground shelter. Fire missiles into the tunnel and destroy it from the inside. Okay, what the fuck is shooting missiles at me? Is it just people in the jungle here? Is this mission gonna be fucking garbage? Okay, so this is... Seems like it's just gonna suck. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be too bad. We have to do this ourselves. Fox two! Fox two! We're still only halfway there, but I'd like to start worrying about how we're gonna get back. I can't see the enemy. Where are they? Fox two! Okay. So far, so good. Okay, it's over here. I sure love missiles coming out of literally the ground. Good. Shockwave from the explosion. The armories in this area have been destroyed. Unleash a barrage of bullets and keep them at bay. Bring out all the weapons and storage. Fight back with those. It's an AA missile. Can you tell where it was fired from? I can't. Be careful at low altitude. Yeah, got you, dude. Okay, I need to... Listen to me! This is the ammo dump! We can't have any fire in here! If this place falls up, this whole area will be... I need to get away from it, and I need to... This is Edge. Target acquired. Oof! Do you see that? That was close as shit. I need more time before the next volley! Ugh, this defensive fighter maneuver training is nice and all, 
I need to come like straight at it. The humidity must have got to its surgery. Oh man, I just pictured myself walking back home through the jungle. This whole place is a tinderbox. Look how well it burns. Our targeting range is limited from here. The shells are all exploding! We can't get near them! Yeah, probably. Doing good so far. This sucks way less than I thought it would. I mean, yeah, but for different reasons. We don't have a whole lot of them left, so... Was that me? Okay, I'm not Grim. Great. I'm not sure who I am, honestly. Okay, that's great. Three more, three more. Oof. I'm almost just running into the ground all the time here, huh? the next mission's more interesting or this one gets interesting soon. Oof, that almost hit me. Say that again. Hey, I know you're stressed, lady, but don't be taking it out on me. There is a whole lot of talking in this game. I can see how it would get grating. I was 
Oh, that was really it. Okay. Okay. That was nothing. That was a nice little warm up. We've been streaming for not even 15 minutes. Okay. Might be able to fit three in today, depending on the next one. The targeted ammunition stockpile facility was destroyed. With this operation, we have cut off one of the lifelines of the Yuktabanian army. Their ability to conduct operations will be reduced across the entire nation. Is that it? Okay. New aircraft. One new aircraft. Actually, it would tell me what they were. Twelve A. Is there a twelve B somewhere? Do I need to look up stuff for this? Let's see. Despite the hectic mood among the staff at HQ, the start of the briefing was delayed. But the weary pilots, knowing full well that they must force their exhausted bodies back into the air once the order was given, weren't the slightest bit disturbed by the delay. Hey, what are you writing there? I just can't remember this next phrase. Here, let me see. Hey! The princess couldn't feed the dove that day. She was too sick. May I take a look? Rosgris. The demon of Rosgris got her, right? You know the story? The demon from the North Sea. I remember. My grandma used to tell me bedtime stories about it. And every time she did, I'd be too scared to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Ugh. Settle down, people. I knew a little about that famous legend, too. When history witnesses a great change, Raz Grease reveals itself. First, as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Roz Grease returns. <coughs> Gentlemen, excuse me, Colonel. This is an absolutely vital mission to us. As the staff advisor sent from Central HQ for this effort, I'd like to explain it myself. Okay. The Ocean Army is planning a vast offensive with the ultimate objective of occupying the capital of Yuktabania. If this operation succeeds, it will end the war in very short order. However, the Yuktabanians have attacked our beachhead with ballistic missiles from the Rim Faxi, a Sinfaxi class. God damn, another fucking submarine. Icy waters of Razgris Straits. Fortunately, our ground forces have already completed attack preparations. So despite the missile attack, the offensive began as planned. Nevertheless, we must neutralize the threat of another Rimfaxi missile attack on our ground forces. We have a single chance to stage a successful air attack on the underwater carrier Rimfaxi. Our passive sonar has detected a transport submarine that we believe is headed for the Rimfaxi. We believe the transport sub's mission is to supply the Rimfaxi with missiles. Based on its course and speed, we've calculated its rendezvous time with the Rimfaxi. By amazing coincidence, it is precisely the same time as the zero okay. hour of our ground attack. At this time, the Rimfaxi will have to surface to restock its missiles. At that exact moment, ingress at low altitude to avoid detection, launch a surprise attack, and sink the Rimfaxi. Once surfaced, it only takes the Rimfaxi one minute to rig for an emergency dive. If your approach is detected, you will only have one minute to complete your attack on the Rimfaxi. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm not detected. Now keep in mind, it 
won't be any support from Arkbird this time around. This mission rests solely on your shoulders. The entire ground offensive is relying on this first surprise attack, so don't disappoint us. I want you to turn the icy Rosbury straits into the enemy's graveyard. So I don't have high hopes about this mission now, because that submarine one sucked. Um, let's see what the, if we can find the new aircraft here. What are you? Bomblet dispenser. Release numerous bomblets from its body. Oh, it's an attacker. Okay, I don't want that. There's also an attacker. Is it you? Are you the new one? You're an attacker. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try it. Mm. Okay, that was the one I used. You can use this too. You can have napalm, sure, sure. Let's try it out. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. Okay. One mile to refueling craft. to go. Hmm. This is interesting. Holy shit, this is... This is extremely floaty. One hundred yards to go. Ladies, maintain your current flight path. Down. Blaze, return to refueling flight path. Don't try. I'm trying- fuck, this is hard. Okay. Jeez, that was hard.
How long is this gonna take? Yeah, I don't need to watch a replay of that bullshit. Okay. basically do not want to touch the sticks at all. Because my altitude is perfectly level. Did I not do it? Okay. I didn't need to launch all those missiles at it. Cool drones, great. Okay, guys, disperse. I don't really need you to cover me. I don't think.
Uh huh. I did take a little damage, that's less than ideal. Hopefully those... Really? It hit me again? Motherfucker. Well, let's try it again. Those guns fucking suck. Pilots, check your plane and prepare for refueling. Uh... One mile to refueling craft. Five hundred yards to go. to go. 50 yards to go. Blaze, maintain your current flight path. You're pretty good, Blaze. Okay. Commencing refueling. Got it. Good. Great. Let's wait until we're done with that. Okay, well. This is Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell, the advisor to HQ. That picket submarine just sent off an enemy detection notice. They're in fact he's gonna dive in one minute. Attack immediately! Hey, our cover's blown anyway. I'm gonna start talking now. Enemy plane. 
And I have to use my lasums on it. So that's great. That'll do something. Guys, okay, disperse. Yeah. Let's take out these UAVs, I guess. I'll take care of the threat from the escort subs too. If the Yukes lose that monster, it'll be a huge blow to them. No wonder they got all those escorts. Come on, come on! The enemy's gonna attack any minute now. Yeah, these UAVs are nothing. Attacking you, asshole. I mean, we'll probably be fine. No, we're just using like good airplanes. Roger. I'll provide cover. 
On it. I guess mental toughness plays a big part in battles like these. But ten seconds to impact. Five, four, three, two, bursting now. What's the matter? I thought this was the world's best fleet. I know, I know. I'm not gonna let them fly up there for long. Okay. I'm all out of special missiles, unfortunately. It's finished. We can't save this boat. They sunk the rim taxi. Ten seconds to Yeah, let's stay up here for now. Okay, let's get back to it. That's how video games work, submarine. Attacking again. Heads up for enemy missiles. Target hit. Let up for even a second, and we'll get showered by that metal rain. Infaxi launching first missile. I think I get another salvo on it. Okay. Not bad. I can maybe do one more. I can maybe do one more. It appears you're up against Rosgrees itself out there. Looks like they were the real Rosgrees, not us. Maybe someone's trying to tell us that our time is up. Like I'm just blowing through this shit, huh? Surprise attack on I'll do one more, or I'll try one more. And the carrier has sunk to the bottom of the Rosgreen Straits. The threat from the northern sea has disappeared, and the Ocean forces are on the offensive against Yuktobania. Okay. No new aircraft. The ace pilots who sunk the enemy submarines are right over there. And I'm the person you want to interview now? No, it's not that. It's just that I heard you used to be a fighter pilot yourself. I just fly freight planes for the maintenance crews now. The captain, Captain Bartlett, that is, it was time for an old man like me to quit trying to compete with the young uh -huh. guys. Talk about a lack of respect. <laughs> Where did you meet Captain Bartlett? We were both shot down and we bailed out behind enemy lines in the last war. We got through the bullet-ridden battlefield and made it back to the Allied front line. I tell you, it was tough getting the army to believe we were on their side. Shot down? You two? Hey, it was a long time ago. Everyone makes mistakes, right? Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. Even if you're not flying with those pilots, your age and experience provide a lot of support for all of them. I just wanted to tell you that. I've seen that you really listen to what they say, and you always have helpful suggestions for them. Well, thanks. That's a weird little interlude, but okay. We're all going to need you, now more than ever. I'll do what I can. For these people, it's like they're walking on a tightrope that could snap at any second. They're going to reach their breaking point sooner or later. Yeah. Let's save, and we'll do one more. Why not? Why not?
Looks like we're about halfway through the game. I'm not entirely sure how to get some Our stuff though. Our is continuing its fast-paced push into Yuktavanian soil. A POW internment camp was discovered during the offensive, and a team of Marines has attacked and captured the camp. The Marines have secured the camp's radio room, and a flight of helicopters is en route to retrieve the prisoners. Your mission is to provide close air support for this rescue and retrieval okay. operation. The radio room could be retaken by the enemy at any moment. If it is, the enemy will report the attack and the rescue will end in failure. Find and shoot down all enemy aircraft in the local airspace and secure air superiority across the entire area. Okay, so I need airplane missiles. Mir 2000. Seventy seven versus Give me a couple of these and I'll take another mirror two thousand. Goblin. Okay, so I didn't do I need to keep these in the circle? Is that how these missiles work? Okay. We can use your special weapons. Okay. Check your equipment again while you can. This is Toby. 
I don't think so. You heard our captain. Relax and just wait there at the camp. Roger. We've cut off the enemy's lines of communication here, but it's just unsettling not being able to tell what the situation is. The pilots look pretty worn out. Being thrown into a These missiles are good. talking about yeah you should probably you should do that you don't think they found us out surrounded us already I hope not These ones take some fucking punishment, huh? See if I can't find them. I've got ice built up on my canopy. My field of view is narrowing. This is Kundal and I. Do the pilots need anything? Um, I need to know where they are. Where the where the planes are. I feel like we're gonna run out of time too. We're walking a tightrope with all these missions. I think the rope's getting thinner too. I hate this. The sun's about to set. Let's knock off before it does. Wait, hold on, I got some hits on my radar. It's probably just full. Echo from the hail or something, isn't it? Come on, airplanes, any of you at all ever. Is the rescue helicopter to trail with us? Is it? This mission is not great. It's 
Does that mean they're in the middle somewhere? There we go. That's not great. There's only a few of them. Let's go sweep them up. Come on. This is Sea Goblin. Combat is broken out in the camp. You've got control of the airspace now. Pretty much. Good. I like a pilot who's realistic about the situation. But I think they'll take care of it. Okay. Be ready for anything. Don't move alone. Oh shit, there's a ton more. Yeah, you can try. Don't get us confused with the enemy. We're gonna fire back. Roger. This is the gunship. We're gonna sweep the south end of Building B with Gatling fire. Target destroyed. Give me the next firing point. I see the POW camp. The man I must. The people we must help are in there. Almost. That was a pretty good bombing run, though. Don't worry, we got this. Yeah, they will. Wait till they're back in their old jobs, being overworked like us. I bet they'll want to get back into that camp. Is that it? Now there's some. Going all right, there's some more.
This will be fine. It'll be fine. Let's get this over with before nightfall. We're screwed if they blow up our helicopter. Hey, hey, guns, confirm destroy. Yep. Okay. Thanks for taking out the trash. We're taking the POWs outside. Can you see their smiling faces? Fuck here. We're coming to pick you up, so be ready. We'll be landing at the designated site. Hurry up and get over here. The POWs are heading for the helicopter. We're almost done with the rescue operations. <laughs> Naga says actually going down to look. All right, everyone's in the helicopter. Checking to make sure we got all of them. Sea Goblin, is Captain Bartlett there? Check for a Captain Bartlett. Hmm, no. Nobody named Bartlett here. Hey, what about you? No, not here. None of the other POWs ever heard of him either. Huh. But they can't. Look, just check for me one more time. Damn it, Nagase. Nagase gonna die? Looks like it. You all right? I'm fine. Oh. My plane's trash, but those are always replaceable. Okay. Sea Goblin to gunship. We're taking our guests home now. Can you guys rescue her? Roger. Weather conditions are getting worse. We'd better step on it. Okay, so like what are we doing? What? Damn it! The storm's too strong. We can't just leave her behind. Look, I hate it too, but we have to wait for conditions to get better before we can do anything. Well, rip Nagase, I guess. Damn it, is there nothing we can do? Damn it! You said it. I think that'll do it. The POW rescue operation was a Let's success, start and both getting the Marines and our friends held in the camp were that decision done. wheel set up, huh? As for Captain K. Nagase, who was attacked and bailed out during the operation, Colonel Perot will issue orders on her behalf. Central Command will be replacing Captain Nagase's plane that was lost in the crash. None of the rescued POWs saw Bartlett in the internment camp. Now where could he be, I wonder? Upon more favorable weather conditions, we will carry out a rescue operation for Captain Nagase. That's right. We've all been promoted. Yet oh. again. You guys are burning through the ranks, you know that? You can thank High Command for it. We got another little cutscene. We're getting a lot of cutscenes today, huh? She had left her book in the crew room. A Blue Dove for the Princess. That was the title of the book she left behind. Weird. Maybe? I don't know. A favorite book from her childhood. I guess not, if it's a childhood thing. The pages had torn off over the years, and she had been writing down the words that were on those pages, trying to remember every sentence and every verse. Hmm. I love this book so much, but I only have faint memories of what was inside. I feel like I've grown so far away from everything since then. I remember how she looked when she told me that. I couldn't help wondering, did she choose to crash on purpose? 
rather than having to take part in the invasion of another country. Hmm. We'll have to find out what's up with her next week. Let's save the game. Okay, let's get to figuring out what we're playing on the Wednesday. Let's spin the wheel. Woo! A 50-50 shot for Resident Evil 4 and Kuon. And we're going to be playing Resident Evil 4, so I will test that out tonight or tomorrow and make sure that all works, and I'll get that working with OBS, and then we'll play that for the first time. I've never I've barely seen any of that game, period. So, it'll be fun. Um, this week, bearing any... Uh, what's the word? Emergencies? Unforeseen bullshit? I'll be having all of my streams. Um, so tonight I'll be playing Chapter 3, Episode 3 of Alan Wake. Wednesday I'll be playing Resident Evil 4. Thursday I'll be playing La Mulana and more Alan Wake, Chapter 4? Chapter 4. Um... Friday, I'll be playing XCOM, and I don't remember if Gunpla is Saturday or Sunday this week. Um, it's one of them. I'll put in the the offline image on Twitch. Um, but yeah, that's all that. I have a podcast on Gigi no Kitaro with the translator of the series, Zach Davison. That'll be coming out on Wednesday. Uh, on the Maji Day feed, which you can find on Google Play or iTunes or at gumbycatnetworks.com slash Maji Day. Um, and it's a good episode. It's fun. Um, there's also a Horror Kiwi podcast with Mary Kish that is up on the YouTube channel and also on the Maji Day feed. Check that out. Um, and then I am... We're recording a couple more of those. I'm recording one of them on Thursday, and it's going to be Freddy versus Jason versus Kayako versus Sadako. Um, and then next week, I'll be recording a Maji Day on Ringu, the Japanese original Ring movie adaptation thing. But until Wednesday with Resident Evil 4, this is Mike with GameCube. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it juicy.